Hey guys, so today I want to share with you the quickest and most effective way to improve your art. Learn how to review and critique your own work. Thanks to Vivid Pixel for requesting this video on Discord. Let's go. So here's an old painting I made back in 2018. It was my prize and joy at the time, but looking back now, there is no way I'd let this leave my painting software. Here's five ways in which I can check exactly what is wrong with this painting before I can start fixing it. Step one, I'm gonna zoom all the way out and check if the composition is still readable. This is the very first thing that your audience will notice, so make sure that even as a thumbnail, you're able to tell all the important elements in your painting. Here, it seems mostly okay, but the hair in the shadowy area is disappearing too much, so that needs fixing. Step two, we check for facial anatomy. I do this by lowering the opacity, creating a new layer on top and trying to draw the skull that this face would be on. Then make the painting invisible and check to see if the skull looks right. Here, that's pretty bad, especially with the eyes and the cheekbones, so that definitely needs fixing. Step 3. Desaturate your painting. This one's well known, you do this to check if your values make sense. Eliminating the colour allows you to focus purely on lighting and contrast. Bonus points, desaturate and then zoom out again. Check to see if the values still read just as well in a tiny thumbnail. Step 4 is a little weird but I like to do this to see if my colors work together. You want to pull up the hue saturation menu and shift the hue back and forth. Do the colors still work together at a different hue? Obviously it won't fit the character or the scene, but looking at just the palette alone, do the different tones balance each other out and make a cohesive palette even when hue shifted? And finally, step five is the longest one of them all, and that is to leave your painting and come back to it after at least a month. By then, not only will you have fresh eyes, you'll also have new perspective and better skill. So after reviewing and assessing this painting, I redid it with the new corrections in mind, and here's how it turned out. Remember not to be too hard on yourself when you're looking at your old paintings. You did the best that you could with the skills that you had at the time. And um, the fact that you were able to, you know, look at errors and notice them and fix them just means that your skill has grown exponentially. If you've enjoyed this video and learned something today, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.